it's back baby 100 squats a day we're doing it right here right now don't keep watching this video if you're not going to do 100 squats you can sign off right now if you don't want to do them if you do want to do 100 squats with me if you do want to change it up a bit if you want to change your state of mind if you want to change your reality around you the way you feel right now in your body you can get up off your chair get up off the ground get up off the couch get up out of the bus that you're on watching this on your iphone or whatever you're wherever you're watching it and do 100 squats with me this is going to be a short video. I don't want to be out here long. I'm already getting kind of cold, but once I start doing the squats, I'm going to warm up. So I want to brief you guys on how to do it properly so you don't mess it up, all right? First of all, we're going to do 100 squats in a timed period. Today, we're going to be doing it in four minutes, all right? Normally, when you build up some good fitness, you can do these squats in under two minutes, but today we're going to do them in four minutes, but I want to make sure you're doing them with proper technique. So what is proper technique? Well, first things first, you want your feet about shoulder width apart all right it's so not super wide not super narrow but just shoulder width so find your shoulders and put your feet right underneath there and that's that's a good width now what angle should your feet be on should, should your feet be straight forward or should they be angled a bit i'm going to turn them out just a little bit just a little bit not totally like you're walking duck footed not totally ramrod straight either all right so you don't want ramrod straight you don't want duck feet you want right somewhere closer to just twisted just a little bit all right and then you wanna make sure that your knees are always pointing out. So keep your feet where they are, but point your knees out as wide as they can. So I'll get up a little closer, you can see my knees. Notice how my knees are, are out, all right? Knees are always out, they're always out. Knees are out, baby. These knees, you'll never see these knees coming in. Ew, that's disgusting. You wanna keep these knees out, that's beautiful right there. Even once you're down, you're coming up, you don't wanna come up like that. So go down, out, and come up, out. Go down, out, come up, out. All right, so knees spread out nice and wide. Depth, how far should you go down? Well, you can go ass to grass if you want. You can go maximum depth if you like, but you don't need to. As long as you're going to hip crease beneath the knee, you're all good. So where's your knee? It's right here. Where's your hip crease? It's right here. This is your hip crease, that little bone right in there. You get that hip bone? Ow, it hurts if you knock on it. That's how you know it's the bone. That hip crease, if you put your fingers in there, it should get pinched as you go down. So if you put a marble on your knee, the marble should roll down your knee and into your hip crease. That's how you know you're going below parallel. All right, so that's the depth you want to go. What should you do with your hands? Well, that's another great question. Your hands start by your side, and as your butt goes down, your hands are going to come up. So butt goes down, hands come up, all right? like that. However, you don't need to bring your hands up all the way like this. Instead, you can just bring them up like this, tuck them up. So it's like, bam, bam, bam. That's the movement, all right? Bam, butt goes down, hands go up. So front view looks like this. Bam, all right? So it's like you're catching a football. Like, I got it, I got the football. Bam, so you can slap your thighs every time. So there's a lot to remember here. If it's your first time doing squats, you might not remember to keep the knees wide. You might not remember to go down deep enough. You might not remember to, what to do with your hands. It's all right. Every time you do this, you're gonna get a bit better. But today, like I said, this isn't gonna be a long video. We're gonna get right into this right now and do 100 squats in four minutes, all right? That means 25 squats a minute for four minutes, nonstop. You can do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Do them with me now. One, two, three, four. Probably going a bit fast right now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. It feels good, doesn't it? 16. 17, we can slow it down. We started too fast. 18, 19, 20. Feel the relief of going a bit faster, but still feel the pressure of keeping on, keeping on. That's 22. That's 23. That's 24. That's 25. We're ahead of schedule. We're going to keep going though. 26. 27. 28. It's a nice, comfortable pace. You can do this. 29. 30, this is all day pace, come on, all day. 31, 32, 
33. Stay with me now. We're doing 100. 34. 35. And we don't stop. We keep going. 36. 37. 38. Oh, it feels so good. 39. 40. This is fitness, man. Whole body activated. 41. 42. 43. 44. 45. Coming up on the 50 mark. 46. 47. 48. 49. 50. Keep the depth. 51. You're probably not going deep enough, so go a little deeper. I think that's 53. 54. 55. 56. We're right on schedule here. Keep it up. 57. 58. 59. That's 60. Keep your head up too. 61. 62. 63. 64. 65. 66. 67. 68. We're almost there. 69, used to be my favorite number. 70, 71, 72, 73, keep it up. 74, don't stop, keep going. 75, lost 25. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. This is a mission, keep it up, keep going up. You won. 82, 83, 84, we're almost at 100, come on, 85, 86, 87, stick with me here, 88, 89, 90, if you want to rush these last 10, go as fast as you can, 91, if you want to keep my pace, stay with me, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, make sure your technique is perfect, 98, 99, last one, that's it, 100, way to go guys, 10 seconds ahead of schedule, so if you're still doing your squats, you still have 7 seconds, so you got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that's it. That's it, that's four minutes. Whew, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. So right there, we just worked our hamstrings like crazy. Hamstrings are connected to our butts. It's gonna make our butts good and strong. The hamstrings also wrap around, grab the quads. Quads are gonna be good and strong. Our lower back is gonna be super strong as well because that butt connects right up to the back. That's why you gotta go depth. The depth, you get the, you get the back activation as well. Back is a huge part of your core. When people think about core, they normally think about just the abs. Back is a huge part of your core as well. When I went to a chiropractor after doing 100 squats a day for a couple of years, went to a chiropractor, got x-rayed. He's like, wow, your lower spine is perfect. And I'm like, dude, it's because all the squats. There's no other reason. When you get in that bottom squat position, your spine is in an optimal position. This is the way humans are designed to sit and chill and rest. This is how babies chill and rest all the time. So it does wonders for your lower back. Your heart rate as well is gonna be pumped up. You're gonna be releasing some testosterone as well with these squats, which lowers body fat. Just overall good cardio. Your lungs are gonna be loving you as well. Your heart's gonna be loving you. Your blood's gonna be moving around. Your lymphatic system's gonna get pumped. It's gonna help with detox. And you're just gonna feel overall accomplishment with yourself and with your whole day, all right? So good job on these squats. Next time we do them together, we're gonna do them a little bit faster. We're gonna do them in three minutes and 30 seconds. And we'll slowly work down together, all the way down to under two minutes together, all right? Peace, guys. Thanks for watching. This is 100 squats a day. Thanks for tuning in.